I hear a lot of people that don't want to get a Google Workspace email, and I completely understand, especially if you've got three, four, five people on your team. Maybe you don't want to spend the six fifty for the basic or the twelve dollars or whatever for five people. That gets pretty expensive. Google Workspace does have a lot of advantages with the folders and the Google Meet and all the other tools, and that's really what you're paying for. But if you're just trying to set up a email or a domain just for your business or a small business, this is the best way to go. And what you'll do is just go to ionus.com and you'll just select the, let's just say you select a, dom a domain that you want to collect. What you'll do is you'll just try to find the domain that you want to select. So I'll just try sample domain onecom just as a sample. And let's just see if I can get this. You just hit check. What it's going to do is it's going to search the entire database for that domain to see if you can get that domain. And if it says this, it just means, sorry, it's taken. So we might want to do another one. Let's try demo. I'm going to do demo sample domain one. Since I already bought demo sample domain, I'll just walk you through this just so you can see what it looks like. So it's going to check to find the domain. We'll just do this one. I know domain has two ends, but it'll, we know that'll work. So I just put in a random domain and you'll see that it's $10 a year. The normal rate for a domain is $17 a year, but the first year when you add a domain, you get that first year free. This is where I like to jump in and use this because you're like, okay, domain name, $17 a year, get it. First year I get it for $10, great. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart and I'll show you the options you have here. They have a domain guard protection that you can add as well, but I don't really use that as much. If you feel like you have emails that need extra protection, then you should definitely get that as well. But if not, we'll go ahead and select continue. And when you get to continue, this is where you get to the pricing page. This is where it makes it really affordable for, for you to either bundle in as an agency and just set everybody up, which is what we did for a long time, or you can go in and just set up your own. Right here, it says email, 12 months for $1, then it's only $3 a month, and you can get a free domain for the life of this contract with up to 25 emails. That's right. So you can grow your business with up to 25 emails in this domain. So for $3 a month, the first 12 months, it's only a dollar. When you get this, you get the emails. So it'll set up your domain and then you can go in and add your emails. Now the emails are also usually around a dollar a piece or you can select the five emails. I believe there's a minimum five or you can select the business plan where you have more. But this is a great starter. A lot of times when you're working with a customer or if it's a business that you're not really wanting to spend that $6 a month or $12 a month with Google Workspace, you can easily come in here and add this. What I've done in the past for all of my customers is we would offer a domain and email service free with any other package. So anytime you bought our software, you got this free because it allowed us to go and get it for you, set it up, and then run with it. What I also love about Ionis is if they decide to do something else or use another service, you can easily transfer any domain from any provider to another domain before its next renewal. Sometimes the agency might charge a small transfer fee. A lot of times I would not charge a transfer fee because you have to pay for the fee when you go on to your next domain. So for example, if I bought my domain with Ionis and my email, and then later I decided I wanted to go with GoDaddy and GoDaddy email, then I would need to buy that email and have it transferred to GoDaddy and make a purchase for that domain. So I have to pay GoDaddy a certain amount of money. So I don't usually do a transfer fee because they just have to pay the fee to GoDaddy to get the transfer. And when you do a transfer, it's just a couple of codes. You send it to them, you unlock the domain, and boom, it's transferred. So you can easily transfer in and out of Ionis however you'd like. And again, if you're a business owner and you're like me, you'll start using them and you'll see. And if you've noticed, I've used them for a little over nine years. I have tons of contracts with different customers and lots of emails and lots of domains on this package. So I strongly recommend that. And once you get this set up, then you will go in and set up your email. And once we get everything set up, 
Then I've got a few more tips and tricks on how to get around your IONIS email, how to set up your email, and how to connect it all with Cloudflare as well. So for now, what you really want to do is go get that domain and get that email because you're going to want that for email marketing to be able to verify your domain and be a legit business. It's more professional to have a professional business email address than it is to have a Gmail, Yahoo, or any other type of free email. It just shows that you're legit. They know you're legit. And then when you go to do the mass marketing with your software, then you'll be able to connect all the important things that you'll be able to show that your email, your domain, and everything is verified and you are legit business to be sending emails and having a domain name. Once you've gone in and set up your IONIS account, now it's time to connect it to Cloudflare. Now you can treat your domain as a domain in here. So you can add all of your domain name settings in IONIS directly just by going into your domain and looking at your DNS settings. This is where if you were copying and pasting your A records, your MX records, your C name records, you could still come in here and do that. I strongly recommend creating a Cloudflare account because inside Cloudflare, not only is it free, it adds an SSL certification. It also has an extra layer of security, but also inside of your software, it's so easy to add funnels and websites and domains with just a quick click of a button, literally that fast. So what we wanna do here is we wanna connect what's called a name server. So if you're gonna do everything inside of IONIS, then you would go into your DNS settings and you would select that. But in our particular case, we're gonna tell IONIS that we want Cloudflare to be our name server. Now this will work for any other domain service that you purchased your domain from. You just gotta go into your DNS settings or into your domain settings. GoDaddy has name server settings. Literally every major domain name service has a name server setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this name server setting. That way we've got it all ready. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect this domain inside of my Cloudflare account. When I copy the domain settings, I'll paste that right into my Cloudflare account, select continue. And when I select continue, what you'll wanna do is scroll all the way to the bottom and you're looking for the free account. Now you can purchase additional security features here as well. Most of us generally will use a free account. It does everything that you need it to do. And like I said earlier, it is a one click button when it comes to setting up inside your software subdomain for your funnels, your website domain. And of course, it's so much easier to use with the click of a button. So what it's gonna do is it's going to scan what I have listed inside of my IONIS account. If I had any other settings in my DNS records, it's gonna pull those settings over and then it's gonna bring it all here and then we'll just go ahead and click continue. Once you click continue, now it's time to add the name server. So you'll see name server, it's gonna go through all this instruction. Right here, these are your name servers. So we wanna copy this first name server and we wanna create, use custom name servers inside of IONIS. I'm gonna paste that first name server here. Then I'm gonna to go to the next name server and I'm gonna go into IONIS and I'm gonna paste that right here. I'm gonna select save. Keep in mind, one of the main reasons why I love using IONIS is because you can get a single email and have it all set up and ready to go. So you get a domain and an email with IONIS. It's literally half the price of Google Workspace. However, I do have emails from IONIS and I do have Google Workspace for our main email. But when you have like five or 10 emails, sometimes it's more cost effective to utilize a service like this. Or if you're working with a small business or you are a small business and you just need to get a domain and email set up, it's a great way to get this all done in one place and utilizing Cloudflare to manage all of it. So once we get it all set up and it's in there, we're gonna go ahead and select continue. It's gonna start the quick start guide, which will make my domain be HTTPS. That's the lock that you have in your website browser. 
We always want to use HTTPS. I go ahead and click on this for speed and then we select finish. Once we're finished, now our site is ready to go. Of course, they're going to want you to upgrade when you're on the free account. They don't really bother you, so they make it really easy to work with. If you need that extra additional security, I do strongly recommend upgrading. Now, if you look over here to the left, it's going to show that we are in my samplebusinessdomain.com. It's been loaded. It's been connected. Now we're going to go into the DNS settings. So you're going to see right here, we've got all of this set up and it's literally ready to go. We can now add all of our records into our Cloudflare account. And that's how easy it is to connect your domain, whatever your domain name is, using a name server and connecting the name server to Cloudflare to be able to use everything inside of Cloudflare.